There are various types of musicals. There's book musicals, Disney musicals, musical reviews, and one that's been going on for years and years has to be jukebox musicals. These are basically musicals that are based on a specific singer or band using their music, but for me personally, I still would categorize them in two separate things. So if you are interested in jukebox musicals and you love them as much as I do, make sure to keep watching this. Hi guys, what is up and welcome to the Theatre Lounge. Welcome back to everyone who's been here before and a massive welcome to everyone who's here for the first time. Here at the Theatre Lounge, I talk about everything theatre because I love this industry so much, but I also give my top tips when it comes to auditions, colleges and everything else that comes with it. I upload videos twice a week, every Tuesday and every Friday, so if you haven't yet, make sure that you hit that subscribe button just down by here to keep updated with all of my theatre content and once you're at it, remember to hit that little bell button to get notified when my videos go live. So, jukebox musicals, as I said, I love these and they've been around for multiple years. The first jukebox musical known to man, as far as I know, is Bubbling Brown Sugar in 1976, so it's been quite a long time and up to next year we've already got some jukebox musicals that have been confirmed and these go from Tom Jones to even Britney Spears. I don't know how I feel about that last one, but hopefully it's gonna be good. Cross fingers. But as I said in the beginning, jukebox musicals can still have like different types of them, and I usually categorize them in two separate things. So the first one being basically a staged biography, so the singer or the band's like career and how they got to where they got with their music, and the other one is a story made up, but using the singers or the band's music. As far as I know, both these types have been very, very successful over the years. But now, without further ado, let's get into discussing jukebox musicals. So for today, I'm going to be discussing a few of these jukebox musicals that I love so much. And the first one definitely has to be We Will Rock You. I saw We Will Rock You when I was about 13 years old. It was my first ever West End show. And this musical made me fall in love with live theatre. I would say that this is the type that is a story using Queen's music. A lot of people would say that this musical is successful because of its music, because it's Queen's music, and I have to be honest, and I agree with that. I think it's very successful because of Queen. Everyone loves Queen. Generation after generation, everyone loves Queen. But saying all of that, I think if there was original music written for this musical, the story is still good enough that it could still like be successful. Ben Elton's book for We Will Rock You is absolutely incredible. And for that reason, I think, yeah, it would have been successful either way. Queen music or not Queen music, it would have been good. But as I said, everyone loves Queen. If you don't know that it's Queen singing the song, you probably still would know the song. I would say that younger kids don't know who Queen is, but they know their music. So for that reason, it's going to be successful because their music lives throughout generations. But We Will Rock You has actually had several runs in the UK. Had a West End run, a long West End run actually, has had several UK tours, has been on ships as well, but for some reason, as far as I know, it's never hit Broadway or even off Broadway. It's never gone to Broadway and I still don't know why, to be honest. It's such a great musical, it's such a good success, so how has it not made it there? And I know that Queen are big worldwide, so people will still watch this, if you know what I mean. But for me, the standout thing from We Will Rock You definitely has to be that when I went in, I had an expectation that it was going to be very male heavy. I thought it was going to be all men singing these songs, but... I was totally wrong. Every woman who sang any Queen song sounded absolutely insane. I think personally, they actually stole the show for me and they were literally incredible. The whole cast, the whole production, creative, anything with the show, I am obsessed with. As we're talking about jukebox musicals, there's one that I cannot not mention and that definitely has to be Mamma Mia. I love this musical because I think Mamma Mia brings in people to theatre who are not specifically theatre obsessed. They love theatre, they like it, they will go to watch a show, but they don't live and breathe it like I do. It is such a feel-good musical. Everyone who's at that theatre, by the end of it, everyone is up on their feet, dancing and enjoying and having fun. And that is why people keep watching it. I've personally watched it three times on the West End and all three times I was up on my feet by the end dancing because I think it's such a feel-good show. But saying all of that, I do have to say that I actually prefer the movie. I just feel like it worked so well on screen. The fact that they could get to Greece and film it in Greece 
and have that Greek feeling about it. I'm not saying it didn't transfer well onto stage because it definitely did. It did have that Greek feeling, but in the movie, you can see it more. It's more in your face. That's why I loved it so much. And also, I've seen different Donnas in any production I've seen and Meryl Streep. No one can win over her. She is absolutely incredible at the role. She is so good. She brought it to life so well. And she set the bar so high for anyone to reach. But as I said, I still enjoy the live performance. It's such a crowd pleaser, such a crowd pleasing musical. And everyone who I know loves ABBA. Rumor has it that Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again is being transferred onto stage. So there's gonna be a sequel to the actual Mamma Mia on stage musical that's gonna be created after the movie. And I, I'm not sure about it. I wasn't too keen on the movie version of it. So hopefully the stage version works better. But it's also been said that there's another Mamma Mia movie coming. The third one is coming somehow. I don't know how it's gonna work. But if you wanna hear more about that, I will link another video just over here as well. And it's upcoming movie musicals that I've made. And I speak more in detail about Mamma Mia 3. Right, moving on to another jukebox musical that I wanna speak about today. I haven't seen this one live, but I've had a lot of positive reviews about it. And this is The Share Show. As suggested by the title of this musical, this actually follows the singer's life. It actually follows Cher's life from when she was younger, how she grew up and got her career. And yeah, it's different to Mamma Mia, it's different to We Will Rock You. This is the other type of jukebox musical that I was speaking about in the beginning. As I was saying about ABBA and Queen, everyone knows who Cher is. If you don't know her specifically, you've heard her music. I'm not being funny, but I think everyone alive has heard Believe at least once in their life. If not, please prove me wrong and tell me that you haven't heard it because Cher is an icon. Although it didn't have the longest Broadway run ever, it was quite a short run actually. This musical still got a lot of positive reviews. A lot of people loved it and people within this community, within theatre community, most of us do love Cher for herself. So yeah, it was kind of known that it's gonna go down well in a way. Also, they got Stephanie J Block to actually play Cher and she is a theatre powerhouse. Everyone in this industry loves Stephanie so much. She is so good at everything she does. I'm not being funny, she is outstanding. And just for the share show, she's won so many awards. Anything she does, she is incredible at. I'm not being funny, I love her. I wish I could see her live one day. Honestly, if anyone wants to give me a gift, please buy me tickets to see Stephanie J Block in something because I need to see her. When they announced that she was gonna be share in the share show, I was like, oh. Are you sure about that? Like, I was a bit skeptical about it, but you know what? Oh my God. When I saw clips of Stephanie J Block portraying Cher, I was like, who's this? It's like a spot the difference game. Which one is Cher? I think at some point, Stephanie J Block actually did Cher better than Cher herself. And I personally appreciate the fact that they worked a musical around Cher's life. She's literally like incredible. And they managed to create such a great musical about her story and how she got to where she is now. And I just don't think that you can do this with every singer or every band. There's been a lot of things that happened in Cher's life and in Cher's career that made this musical what it is. It's an interesting story, it's a moving story, and as I said, I don't think you can do it with every singer or every band, but Cher, she deserves it. Now, for the last musical I want to talk about today, and this is one I absolutely love so much, this has to be American Idiot. Now, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about it, I've heard a lot of people who enjoyed it, but I also heard people who did not enjoy it as much. I watched American Idiot in 2015 at the Art Theatre in London, and that was literally my second night in the UK when I moved here. And I was so excited to watch it, honestly. It was like, this is what I'm going to be studying. This is what I'm going to be doing. So for me, again, it has a special place in my heart. As suggested by the title of this musical, the music is all taken from Green Day's album American Idiot. And again, they've created a story that this music fits in. I genuinely don't know how they do these things, but it worked out so well. Honestly, it is incredible. Personally, Green Day is not my everyday music. I do like it, but it's not like what I listen to on daily, day after day. I like it, but I'm not obsessed with it. But in this musical, it works out so well. And one of my favorite songs in the whole musical 
definitely has to be 21 guns. When I saw it live, I was like, oh my god, what a great piece it was. It was literally stunning on stage. Genuinely, this musical blew me away how they managed to fit a story in with all of this music. I was like, wow. Actual people in theatre are actual geniuses. And apart from all of this, this musical actually introduced me to one of my favourite performers ever, and that is Natasha Barnes. She was outstanding. She literally stole the show for me. She played Heather in American Idiot, and literally, I was blown away. She made my night that day. But as I was saying, American Idiot works out so, so well. It is beautiful. If you've not listened to it, go ahead and listen to it. And again, it's another musical where a lot of women sing these songs and it sounds absolutely stunning. But I cannot be mentioning every single jukebox musical that exists because the list goes on and on and on. I will be here for days. Some other ones have to be Tina, Thriller, The Bodyguard, Jersey Boys, Let It Be. There are so many, honestly. And if you want another video about more jukebox musicals, let me know in the comments box below because there's so many more that I can make a full series out of this. So if you want it, let me know. And also, if you're down there in the comments box, let me know what you think about jukebox musicals. Do you like them? Do you think there's some specific artists that should have a musical based around them or based on their music at least? Let me know all about that in the comments box below. I'd love to hear all about it. And as usual, I will reply to all of your comments as well because I love discussing with you guys. But there we go. Thank you for joining me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If if you did remember to hit that thumbs up button that'll give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more theater content and remember to follow me on all of my social media platforms i will link everything down below for you as well and yeah get your daily dose of musical theater thank you guys for joining me and i will see you all on friday bye guys